comes the marksman. And yeah, that's using Shin on Kyrie. Onik, they close up with the Cho. I I don't know where this is gonna go. Is it a is it a mid lane Cho? A gold lane Cho. It was Hatred playing it, so I'm pretty sure it is going to be in the mid lane. Hatred was the one picking it up just now in the trades, and honestly, there's a little bit of love and hate, right? I like the pick right now because it can actually lock down the Roger, and as we all have seen from our ranked games, Roger's quite a big of a, you know, it's a big problem. Yeah, the, th the thing is, I like the Roger pick. What I'm looking forward to see, can LY4 perform with it? Because I, I'm not saying that LY4 does not have the mechanical prowess for it, but when you're using the Roger, there is that very skewed, that has a very early power spike. If you hit it, you know, if you get a small lead, if you get a one kill lead, as one of our junglers have said, then yeah, you can snowball from there. I'm just looking whether LY4, does he have the eye for opportunity to really see as a Roger, I can get this kill, I can get, I can, cha I can change it single kill to a triple kill. Well, let's get straight into the portal. Let's see if that answer will come out here in the game. RSG and Onik for the first game. Mid lane show. Marky on that farsa. Baloisky already annoying LY4. This is what you want to see from Onik, right? On this Rafaela, you do have so much sustain, so much mobility, and so much of that just nuisance damage. Oh, but wait a minute, it might be turned around here. Boloyski, he might have bit too much, then he can chew. LY4 keeps on scratching at him. He is scratchy right now, and that's going to be the Razor first blood. I think that's enough time bought by Onik Philippines. Yes, it's bad you give over the first blood so easy, but just the same, Onik Philippines, they're playing the map. Look how much confidence Dilarski already has. Hatred here. Just kiting these two Sana and Lolzi. Again, this is what I said earlier. Delarski's gonna have to play a quarter of the map early on. And so far, he's doing okay. Yeah, right now looking at RSG, they have a very good start. They just have to transition it a little bit better. Over on, on the goal lane, we can definitely see Baby Kicks as well as Marky. Baby Kicks getting engaged over here and probably able to survive. But, RG, they should use this advantage. Yeah, but they've actually used so much in Boloiski now. He might have, again, went over, extending into the enemy jungle slain. and to the enemy lanes. And it is going to be Sana. This is the reason that the Selena was in the keys to victory. Because it just puts so much pressure on the map. What Onyx Philippines wants to do usually has just been shut down. Right now, looking at the map, RSGSG 2-0. In terms of goal difference, it doesn't make a lot of difference. I really do believe that Ani Philippines, they can come back very, very easily, especially because they have the Farsa, they have the Yis and Shin. This is, they're not in that deadly territory as of yet, but from the side of RSG, they really should push this advantage a little bit further. They do have the Selena, they do have the Roger. Can they do anything with it? Oh, but wait a minute, it's gonna be on all out collapse right now. Diablo goes in, but the way the Dragon will be able to connect onto LY4 right now with a lot of damage placed onto him. It's still able to run away for now, but it's gonna be him taken down. Onyx Philippines have gone in and made it on the board, but it's gonna be Circle Eagle to go in for the re-engage. Hatred's still able to run away for now, but it's gonna be Kyrie going in back and forth. The damage, it's gonna be enough, but he's gonna get taken down in the process of that. And Sana, he's hungry for more, but Lars will be able to come out out of that. RSG still maintaining the lead. Sana is just a whole nother beast here. A different kind of mid laner. As compared to Hatred, who you gotta give it up to the young Jaylord, tried to find the perfect target, but it's just he wasn't able to pass it on to Kyrie and juggle, as you'll see here in the replay. Yeah, right now looking at the replay, on the side of Onyx Philippines, the way that they played against it, they, they're moving together a lot, and that is good and bad. Good because... You're, you're, you're basically pushing all of the damage around everywhere, so perhaps you can delegate a little bit. But right now, Marky up top is getting targeted. And during the replay, Baby Kings actually got uh, a solo kill against Marky. Yeah, th the thing is, right, for Onic PH, with this Farsa pickup, they wanted to win lane. Yep, they, they wanted to give Baby Cakes a hard time, but it looks like Marky, the new directive is to just hunker down. It, it's very difficult to win against a Clint at any point in the game. I guess that's why that hero is just so big right now. Oh my god, but you can see the Selena has just been such a huge factor in the game. Hatred goes in for the way the dragon, but instantly just canceled away. Right now, on the Philippines, what they want to do is actually try to get some kind of pickups, right? Because right now, the Hatred is looking good. one zero one He has the high and dry. He should focus on one of the mains because they kind of have to speed the game up slightly a bit, try to slow down the side of RSGSG. If they can't do that, then 
RG will start to slowly hold the map and it will become very difficult for Philippines to, uh, on the Philippines to start defending any of their objectives. That's essentially what's happening with the side lanes. Farsa, the one thing that she has over the Clint is rotational speed. That's only a single dash on the Clint. And now look at this, Marky. Oh my god, actually, it's gonna be Baby Case rotating and actually almost outplaying the enemy team. Onyx, though, will be able to get in onto that with the turtle now being targeted by RSG. It was a brilliant, brilliant rotation by Onyx to go and rotate to that top side, look for trades because in that 5v5, they are not gonna get anywhere against a Roger. Yeah, this is what I said. They have to get this pickoffs because looking at the gold lane, Baby Kicks has been there alone for quite a while, so they really should target Blue some team something like that. Oh, but wait a minute, Circle Ego all the way onto Hatred. Beloisky is there to help him out. <laughs> but again, like I mentioned right now, it's actually on Philippines already turning the tables around, getting the gold back. Yep, so far they've traded um, a few kills. Two turtles for that huge turret up top. So yeah, we were mentioning earlier, shouldn't Farsa be winning this matchup? Apparently, it just took a little while longer. They took the scenic route, and now five minutes in, top lane doesn't seem so safe. That's why they're sending four members over here, RSGSG, looking for something. Looking for something, but unfortunately will not be able to collapse mm -hmm. onto anyone. They noticed that Onyx Philippines have responded really well. They'll just go and back away. But for now, 60 seconds left until that turtle spawns. Yeah, right now, what the side of Onyx Philippines is doing is actually they're kind of winning this very, very slowly because in terms of skating in the late game, they're doing very, very well. As long as going to the team fights, especially during the Lord, if they can somehow control LY4 on this Roger, then they will really, I would say, the favorites to win this, this, this fight because right now, Roger is being a little bit too passive for my own liking. So, RG, them playing this thing slowly is actually good for Onyx. But honestly, uh, you know, to be honest, right? The Roger, it's really good in the early game. If you get that one kill, you're able to already get that lead. And with that lead, you can transition it to kills or just keep on farming. Hold on to that lead until a big fight happens. But right now, this is a banana split coming in from Onyx PH. This is exactly what you want from this team. Literally the banana split. And I guess that's what they're getting out of this rotational speed. That's the key word here as Diablo just prancing on away from this four-man siege ball. We're talking about the banana split. We're Blue talking about pressure in the right destroyed. places. And that's what Onyx PH has done. Yes, early on, they traded out Beloisky three times. Three times if Rafael has died. But what has that done? It's given LY for a little bit of a gold lead. Yes, and that's what we were talking about. He should have been able to snowball off of that. But now, Onyx PH, they're up about almost two. Absolutely, that is beautiful, but look at this. Actually, RSG already looking for an engage up their own onto Glarski. He's gonna get chased down. Consecration has been popped, but it's not gonna be able to get him out of that situation. RSG picks up one, but look at Hatred with the way the dragon under the turret to pick up a kill. There is nothing Sana can do. He's actually gonna be zoned away, and that is another turret going down to the hands of Onyx PH. Two men trying to make the difference here. Lawsy. Oh, he's taking LY4 with him! Oh my god, the fight just keeps on going, but wait a minute. Marky goes in for the flame shot. He's able to run away for now, but it's gonna be Kyrie picking up a kill. A one for one trade ensues in that purple buff, but it's still on a PH coming out on top. So now we see the clash of styles. You see how RSGSG, they're trying to still go for, we take kills and then we convert into objectives. Onyx PH, not exactly like that. Maybe we'll take the objective first and if you try to kill us, we'll go for the counter engage. And that's why we're seeing 7-5 in about eight minutes now. It's those little kills that where they meet, that point of divergence and convergence between their strategies and their tactics. Onyx Philippines right now, they're playing very clean. They're playing the map very, very well. And this is why I say RSG, what they had to do was was actually control the map a little bit better because you don't want to give a team like Onyx Philippines where they know the map so well that they know the timings of the minions, they know the right time to actually push uh, for this double, uh, for this banana split kind of situation. And RG, looking at how LY4 played just now, there was a lot of hesitation. And that is why I was personally worried him playing this kind of hero because this is not one of those heroes you hesitate. This is one of those heroes you just turn your brain off, press a few buttons, and then just get kills. This has just been such a treat to watch. RSG with the initial just, you know, heavy aggression coming in. Not aggression, but good response, right? The aggression was actually from Onyx PH, but Onyx PH, they weren't able to use that aggression in the early stage, but it all, you know, it all really just made that mid game possible. And that's the beautiful thing to me. We're waiting for a team fight to happen here. 
It's Sana who's trying to engage with that abyssal arrow. Evo says G and RSG, they're so different. Yet they always somehow meet at the top of MPL SG. And that's the thing here. Yesterday we were so used to Evo SG going start, stop, start, stop until we find something that sticks. RSG, SG, no. They will try to hammer down on you, hunt you down, and then go for something. And that's, what ma that's what's making this match so, so bittersweet for me. It's like... I want them to do something. I want them to find it. But just the same, I know Onyx not going to let that happen. But wait, they catch Beloisky. Yeah, Beloisky caught off guard right now. Zelda by Force scratching him on the back. It's going to be Larsky actually trying to distract the enemy members going in for the Consecration as well. It's going to be Onyx just using that poke to zone away the members of RSG. As in the top side, it's actually a solo kill by Hatred onto the Esmeralda. Larsky, this is what you want from him. When he starts scaling, he becomes an absolute monster. Zoning four members away. And Onyx picking up the objectives, man. What? I mean, Delarski, amazing distraction play. He survived running through four. But off camera, it was a 1v1 victory by Hatred over Diablo. Show over Esmeralda. You saw J-Lord, you saw Hatred dancing before this game. Now he brought out his moves. I'm just sad we didn't get to see it. Yeah, right now it looks like RSGSG, they can't follow up with what Ani Philippines wants to do. It's like, wait, you're at top, wait, you're at mid, you're at bottom, which, they're everywhere. Ani Philippines is everywhere. They're everywhere and they don't know what to do against them. What time is it? It's Onyx time! Right now in the 10th minute of the game, this is where they find their comfort. A 4,000 goal lead by splitting up the map, playing it partly onto the objectives, and it has just been a smooth way, smooth road for them since that first turret. I have a question now for RSGSG. In terms of scaling, they should have at least some sort of late game insurance, right? Diablo should be nigh unkillable later on. Baby Cake should be a walking bit of artillery. Sana can try to find those long stuns. But Onyx PH, just the way that they're playing, it, it seems like they're not gonna allow it. So this is really Onyx PH's game to lose right now. Yeah, now that you mention it, I feel like they didn't really utilize that early aggression, the early game lead that they had. They could have gone for way more fights, but look at this, it's gonna be Hatred already. Again, zoning Diablo no off of his turret. The threat alone, even if you don't use the way the dragon, just you being there, it's gonna scare all the opponents, man. And RSG, they're on full defense mode right now with the Lord marching down in the bottom side, actually already hitting onto that inhibitor turret. What do they have to do? What can they do? Look at Larsky. He is playing with no respect. 1v4 in the midst of it all, and he's not taking damage. But wait a minute, it's actually the Mr. Arrow connection on the boys. Oh. He's gonna get taken out with the dragon after he uses. It's gonna be, oh my god, another kill picked up. One for one as of right now. But again, it's the Thomas just falling one by destroyed. one for RSG. Onyx using this properly. Great trade, Baloisky for baby cakes and then two inhibitors. I'll take that trade any day, twice on Sundays. And now 12 minutes in, we have a Lord already. This is permanent damage to RSG, SG's base. There's so much that they need to do to catch up. Yeah, right now, this is why I say RSGSG, they really should control the map. Because the way that their draft is really being set up, how are you going to engage anything? What are you trying to achieve? Are you trying to go for a team fight? Are you trying to go for a pick? Right now, RSG, it looks like they're not too sure what they are trying to do. They're trying to kill Dlarski. That's what they are trying to do. It's not working because Dlar is just... It's just so tanky. You can see that the anti-region has actually been built by the side of RSG. But look at Larsky. Again and again, he gets stunned up, but it won't do anything. He's just going to tank everything up. It's not even the Purify Uranus. It's, it's a Flicker Uranus. So that means he's more likely to be aggressive and put on those Ionic Edge stacks to hurt you. Oh, but wait a minute. Once again, Onyx, they are just so good at these sieges. Look at how they destroyed three inhibitor turrets without us even noticing. The way that they play the map is literally just beautiful. Yeah, right now, again, RSGSG, they still have an opportunity to actually come back, but they have to look at the Esmeralda. They have to look at Diablo. Diablo has to initiate something. Personally, it would be better if they can actually get Marky, but as of right now, I, it's, it's almost impossible to even penetrate the front line that is Dolarski. It's just honestly so hard for anyone to get onto Dolarski, even if he gets stunned up. Yeah, Dolarski is more than just the front line. He's actually the back line, the side line, <laughs> every line. He's literally everywhere. So he's RSGSG, a circle. He's, he's, he's <laughs> omnipresent is, is the word. He's literally where you don't want him to be, and that's what's making RSGSG's combat so much more difficult. Yeah, again, Marky just goes in. Oh! Nice from downtown. That Marky was business. nasty. What the 
heck Marky was business, that? man. It's Marky business, and again, it's gonna be Larsky just being such a nuisance in that front line. Right now, RSG, they are being pressured very, very highly. The only, the only way that they can actually do this well is if the Larsky just all of a sudden forgot how to play, maybe go to the base, which you don't even have to go to the base. He can literally just live in RG Energy's face. <laughs> yeah, he can literally just this walk This is his up. new home. He, this is his new home. Welcome home, Dlarski. This is Singapore. Singapore. Yeah. <laughs> He's yeah. Onik, RSG, PHSG, <laughs> Dlarski. <laughs> yeah. oh. oh my god. It's just really just... Honestly, it's disgusting to see. Dlarski, he's taking everything. He's not like he's trying to dodge anything either. Oh, yeah. He's just <laughs> taking everything front. Oh my god, Actually, look at that. By the distraction, on PH already starting up the enhanced. On the floor. contrary, he would like to catch yeah. everything, right? Yeah. Peel, get the get the circling eagle on him, bait out something from RSGSG, feed it up to the rest of Onyx PH, and that's what's gonna happen here. Yeah, he bait all the abilities. This is time for Onyx to just go oh! wild. Oh my god. Marky, stop! That was disgusting. Stop doing this! Fly <laughs> by flame shot. Oh my Fly god. Fly by flame shot. Fly by. I like the sound of that, but look at this, the three waves, not actually the two waves. They don't even need three waves. They're just gonna go in. Diablo using that falling star moon to go and defend. But look at the zoning from Glarski. They're just able to do so much damage. LY4 going for the last desperate moment, but the base, it's gonna be targeted. But wait a minute, RSG, they might have found a second win. Kyrie needs oh. to back away. LY4 is hungry for more, but look, it is actually still RSG able to defend. Close call. They're gonna have all five members though. You gotta say, you gotta give it up to RSG still. Eight to nine. The kill score would not say everything, but again, they're gonna have a round two at the siege. Oh! Oh my god. The damage! God. The enhanced sword almost takes them down, and there you go. That's game number one for Onyx PH. That. Oh. Okay, firstly, uh, ban flame shot. Ban flame, flame, shot. flame shot. Do not allow what exactly Marky just did. That was, that was a mechanical. Genius. And the thing is, it was a fadeaway 100% of the time. Yeah, okay, so going back to the game, honestly, in this kind of situation, RSGSG, they really need to focus because they did not play their draft. They really should, they executed the draft. The win condition, win the lane, win the game, but they gave a lot of time to the point where, to be fair, I, I, I forgot the other the other guys from Arctic, I just saw the Larsky. I was like, oh wait, Kyrie's in this game as well. I, I forgot about that. Yep, so 